Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jesse, and if you know Zari from Instagram, I want to explain a reoccurring problem that has been going on in the Toka Kaboka community. Yes, this video is different from all the other posts I made. I just want to make a commentary video while you see me drawing so you won't be bored while I'm talking about this. Um, a lot of big creators such as Toka Shine, Jay's Toka from Instagram, and Sam, aka T Toka Len Pai. I have no idea how to say your name. I'm so sorry if you're watching this. Anyways, a lot of their posts or clothing or whatever creators have been stolen from a lot of people, and some of them even just actually scribble over them and i'm not going to say the name of the creators that do this because it's going to cause a recurring drama problem however it's really offensive and really rude and disrespectful when someone takes the work that a toko creator does and actually reposts them as if it's theirs and it's not right it's just wrong and i have even tried to stop the situation and um by asking these people to please stop and it's not right please don't repost your please repost your own content and some when some people actually say these problems on their own instagram story or youtube i actually and when they don't stop the problem they actually just ignore it and when they actually get more and more messages saying that it's their post i actually come to help and actually tell the person or user to stop posting other people's content please please repost your own original content you're unique god made you re unique and it's right that you use your own creativity to make your own post but some of the conversations i had with other people actually has reoccurred to drama and people saying shub to me and hate comments and stuff like that um one time this i had a prank made on me and and uh, this user said that I was the only person that was able to like last long. She she or he said that I was really lightheaded and most people would actually get mad. However, the prank went too far when he or she told me that I was um let's just say in love with a, the same gender and I'm not that I do not judge people that are part that do that i respect all everyone and all people everyone is loved god loves them all and it's their choice and what they want to do in their life but when people accuse me of doing something that i don't do it gets kind of frustrating however i try to make the situation and deal with the situation respectfully and christ-like as much as possible now i bet you're wondering why do you help these people when it's their own problem well, number one, it is Christ-like, and some people try to deal with it, but they get too upset that they end up blowing up on the person and just end up deleting the chat anyways. So, if the person stole, for example, clothing, I would actually say I love it, quote-unquote. However, I wouldn't put actually quote-unquote because... I do not want to come to the person just like that. I want to be respectful as much as possible. Try to get them in a friendship way before I start having the conversation. If that doesn't work, I come in nicely, respectfully, yet stern. Because some people, when, when you be nice to these type of people, it's like, oh, it's okay for me to do this and let me just keep on doing it. You have to say please and stuff like that because if you don't, there's a high possibility that they'll say mean words, cuss words, or any type of language that's not appropriate for you. And even sometimes I have to speak other languages in order for me to get my point across. It gets kind of frustrating because I don't speak their language. I do not know their language, unfortunately. So I have to use a translator in order to understand them. It gets kind of frustrating because... Like, the person that is not this, at the same country as you, we all are from different countries and different religions, nationalities, and stuff like that. And when people do not speak English or stuff like that, and people are stealing posts, I'm not saying I do not like the person that speaks English. Everyone is beautiful, everyone's wonderful. But when people steal posts and they say cuss words in another language or such as that, I never experienced this before, but it gets kind of frustrating to see someone that's 
like stealing their own post and stuff like that because it's just not right and it takes a lot of work for me to actually translate what they're saying and try and get my point across because i don't know their language i don't know what they're saying their language is different from mine which is english and it just gets kind of frustrating you know and also people just send me rude things like before such as shut up this is not your post and people have sometimes stolen my post and claiming that it was theirs i'm not gonna say the user i'm not gonna blame anyone out because i don't want them to receive hate because some people just don't really know better they are new to the tokabuka community and they just know, don't know what is a yes yes and what's a big no no they're just new from the toka community and they're just starting out in the toka community however if they do know what's right and wrong between the tokaboko community and there's doing it then that's when you have to step in be when i or someone else has to step in because it's not right for someone just to know that it's wrong for them to steal post but they still do it it's just really frustrating for me as a tokubo creator and for other toku creators because it gets really annoying and i have also kind of experienced other people impersonating other tokubo creators for example like toka shine for example she's a big youtuber she started out from a, a like i think a year ago oh yes a year ago if you see on the screen she started a year ago and now she's big she's a wonderful youtuber and such and such and such and such now, if you're making a fan page of Toka Shine, then that's perfectly okay. She really appreciates when you make fan pages or stuff like that. But when you, like, take their literal post and post them on their page, that's when the big creator gets kind of upset, annoyed, or frustrated. Because, number one, you're taking their own content that they made for their followers, for their specific followers. And then some people actually crop out the watermarks cover the mar watermarks with their names or users and post them on their page and i have experienced other tokoboka tubers such as toka sign herself who have seen people actually scribble over her edits and say she was ugly horrible and she hates to there's this one user that i found on instagram who says she's the real toka shine and her name's exactly toka shine i'm not gonna say her real username because i do not want to cause anything however she literally made her bio says i'm a big youtuber and i hate toka Boca. if she hates or he or she i'm sorry if she hates toka Boca so much then why is she even posting about toka Boca content anyways however the toka Boca content isn't just regular toka Boca content is she's actually scribbling over the faces of the toka Boca character and saying that she made the edit and they're ugly it's such and such and such and such and such it's just rude number one because no one needs to experience this especially a big youtuber because this is cyberbullying number one cyberbullying has caused a lot of depression and a lot of psychological issues and if you or someone else does this if someone you know does this please stop it's not right it's cyberbullying actually it's not oh they're just stealing it's cyberbullying it's cyberbullying I unfortunately have experienced cyberbullying through a game. Unfortunately, however, this has no, a game. This game has nothing to do with it. It has what Morris explains the stealing and stuff like that. The next thing I want to talk about is being rude and being impulsive or accusi or like rude and disrespectful when people say please stop stealing. Number one, I have experienced this too when some someone sent me a message saying that toka shine and me a quote-unquote me are going to the beach when it was actually my post which i it was my responsibility to put the watermark today that day i didn't just feel like putting watermark so i posted it without a watermark and i even tagged the person that was collabing with me which was toka shine herself the person took the picture of my post and sent it to me and reposted it to say as if they it was their post and then they even made a reel about my post and they even put a story over my post which had my name on with my watermark and the name on the clothing that I was wearing on the post. It was seriously frustrating for me to experience this. Why? Because I'm not a big toga tuber yet. God willing, I may 
maybe big to consumer just like other tubers today however it's not right for people that are just trying to post content and post videos for their followers and people just steal it scribble over it and just you know just make it their own it's not right and another point is i have experienced people literally change the skin tones of the person's original character and put their face or their own clothing over the character like that's just rude i mean what kind of person would just do that the person made their own character hey let's say they're african-american caucasian or whatever skin tone they have which all skin tones are beautiful by the way and they recolor the clothing or the skin tone and post it post their own face on it and say hey this is mine it's just rude and just wow it just shocks me that people actually do this it's just rude next thing i would like to talk about is me having to deal with these type of people number one when i see someone he or she posts a content that is from an original talkable creator that's their original post i try my best to deal with the situation for example i comment in the post say hey love this quote i don't actually love it because it's stolen so please don't hate me for that i just try myself my best to be nice i play please um dm me i sent you some messages i reply sternly yet nicely and respectfully i tell them that it's their original post and i even show proof the difference between that person's post quote unquote and the original creator's post there have been many creators that have been stolen from it's not right and if you're doing this if you're cropping the watermark or writing over it and pasting your own watermark if you're cropping the face painting over the face or painting over the hair or coloring the skin tone if you're taking the post and posting it without credits and people clearly see the watermark on it so what's the use in posting something that's already the original person's post please just stop it's not right it's not nice it's not respectful either fan pages are definitely okay that's a definitely definite check mark but if you're posting content and just stealing it and putting filters and changing skin tones i mean do you just imagine how much work when posts are stolen how much work that the stealer has to do in order to make their post quote unquote original it's just why put in all that work for stealing a post and just post your original content? If you can't make edits, make builds. If you can't do builds, make edits. If you can't do builds or designs, just make like a clothes, a tokoboka clothes. If you can't make tokoboka clothes, make tokoboka props. It's up to you how you want to run your page. The only question is, what will you do if you see other better tokoboka creators that edit more advanced than you? What will be your decision today? Will you decide, hey, I should probably steal this content, this person's content? Or should you make your own original content? Because everyone has their own talents and their own, you know, uniqueness. I'm sorry if I can't, I'm blabbing a lot. But I just had to make this problem across from my experience. And I also want to thank that Dearez. You can subscribe to her channel for also stopping this impersonation from Tokushine. Because Tokushine recently has been dealing with a lot of people that haven't been, been impersonating her as the real Tokushine. Even stealing her post. So please send love and support to Dearez and to Tokushine herself. Thank you so much. Please do not steal any post, and I'll see you in the next video. Yes, this is my voice. This is my first time actually making a commentary video while I'm drawing, or you see me drawing. So please just know, don't steal other people's posts. Be original. God loves you, and I'll see you next time. Anyways, have a great day, morning, afternoon, noon, evening, or night. Gracias, and young, adios amigos, and bonjour, bonjourne, and have a great day. Goodbye! See you next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment to... I could to see what you think about stealing. Anyways, goodbye.